Hi, I'm Karen Dugan, and this is my most requested video. Last year, the fast, casual, and ultra-healthy restaurant chain, Crazy Bowls and Wraps, came up to me and asked me and my company, STL Veg Girl, STL for St. Louis, if you're not local, asked me to create a whole food, plant-based, oil-free dressing and sauce for them. And of course, I was so super excited. So we did it. We created a, um, a smoky Mediterranean, thick and beautiful, creamy, delicious dressing that you can put on bowls, in wraps, on salads. It's, it goes on anything. So ever since they launched that in, I think all of their 16, 17, maybe 18 now restaurants, I keep getting requests for the recipe. So I went to them, got permission, and here's the breakdown of the recipe. Uh, okay, let's get started. First, we're going to use, I have one, let's see, this is uh, three ounces of sun-dried tomatoes in an oil-free package. Do not get the ones that are packed in oil because we don't like to use oil. Put them in your blender. It's gonna come out to about a cup and all of the measurements will be down below if you're watching this on YouTube or within the recipe itself if you're on the STL Veg Girl website and that's stlvegirl.com. Okay, sun-dried tomatoes. Now we're going to add juice of four limes and that's gonna to come to roughly a fourth of a cup. This is a really simple recipe. Now we're going to add in, I'm gonna add in, this is mint, fresh mint. I'm gonna add in probably two full sprigs. That was a half of a one, that was a full one. Let's get a little guy in here. And maybe, maybe one more. I love my mint. It's so fresh, love it. Okay, so then to add the creaminess, we're going to add in um, tahini paste or just tahini. Now when you buy tahini, which by the way is just ground up sesame seeds, when you buy your tahini, just make sure the label, the ingredients are only ground sesame seeds. You don't need any extra oils or stabilizers or sugars or salts or blah, 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 any of that grossness, right? Just ground up sesame seeds. And I'm going to add three tablespoons of our sesame. Love this stuff. This is a staple in a lot of my a lot of my salad dressings to make them really nice and creamy. And in the show notes and in the recipe, I'll give you a tip on how you can add the creaminess without so much of the fat and even adding more fiber. Okay, the spices. We're gonna add a little bit of oregano, and this is to taste, but I have about a teaspoon in there of dried oregano. If you have fresh, add twice as much. A pinch of salt. and a little pepper, freshly ground pepper. You can see how easy this is. Okay, we're gonna put this on our base. And I have two cups of water here. This is, <clears throat> pardon me, you can do uh, two cups of water, you can do you know, four cups of water, doesn't matter. You can do a, a really light, dressing or you can even make it into a paste which makes a great sandwich spread or uh, like on your on your veg burgers i mean this is such a versatile recipe i'm going to add just about one cup to start and i'll show you how i'm going to use this today So this gets really thick really quickly and right now it would make a really great spread because once you put it in the refrigerator or after you use it and put the rest in the refrigerator it'll thicken up even more so I'm going to add another half cup so I have a cup and a half of water in here that you're 
always testing, tasting your recipe as you go along because we have different palettes and I want you to like what you're making. Maybe it'll stop, maybe it won't. <laughs> it's an old Vitamix. I think it's reaching the end of its life. Oh, this is nice and thick, yeah. Let's see how thick that is. Oh, it's just so great. And you know what, I think I'm gonna, mm, really tangy, sort of smoky from those sun-dried tomatoes. Um, you can, you can, I can really taste the, the lime. I like that, I like the brightness of the lime. But what I think I'm gonna do is just add another quarter of water give it another real kick and get it nice and creamy. Okay, I've cleaned my workspace up and ooh, yeah, this is so creamy. I don't know if you can see. That is really beautiful. This is gonna make such a nice sandwich spread because it is on the thicker side. Um, and again, it'll just firm up as it, uh, as it chills down. And oh wow, it smells delicious. So today, I just have a mixture of some steamed cauliflower and broccoli, and I'm just gonna pour it right over this. And this will keep for about know three four days or so in the refrigerator in a sealed container sealed jar maybe use it again and again again in wraps on your burgers on sandwich spreads on your bowls on your quinoa and kale bowls whatever this is so delicious I hope you really like it and if you go into any of the crazy bowls and wraps uh, restaurants all you need to do is look up at the menu and look for that logo <laughs> We're in each of the stores, all of the stores. And it, again, it's called Smoky Mediterranean, whole food, plant-based, no oil. And my logo is next to it, if you cannot remember the name of it, Smoky Mediterranean by STL Veg Girl. Enjoy, let me know how you like it, and I'll see you again real soon.